everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and if this is your first time visiting then do make sure that you click the subscribe button and keep up to date with all of my videos. So this video is just going to be me doing a little chat about all of my projects that I'm working on at the moment and I've just got them out and there is actually quite a lot that I've been working on in the last probably seven days. So these are all of the things that I've worked on in the last week. So I didn't necessarily start them all in the last week, but these are all things that I've picked up again. Sorry, that's the dog bumping into the camera. <laughs> um, these are all the things that I've been working on in the last week. So first and foremost, this is an older project that I did start a while ago, and I've recently picked it back up again because I want to get it finished so that I can get the tutorial out. And I'm really sorry if you can hear that panting, it's the dog. She's really, really hot today. She's a husky and obviously huskies super fluffy and it's been quite warm so yeah i'll just wait for it to finish drinking i'm sorry there we go i think she's done so i'm just gonna bring this forwards just for a second so that you can see exactly what it's like so this is the esther blanket which is from snufflebean and the pattern is already there on her website for you to download but she is given permission for me to do a step-by-step -step video tutorial for this blanket and that will be coming really soon so yeah this is what I've got so far so you get these lovely vertical ridges and I'm using the Sudar Patty Cake yarn for this I'm actually just started my second ball of this yarn I love working with the Patty Cakes they're actually really really soft and really squishy I've done quite a few projects with these now and they've all turned out really beautifully. So that is the Esther blanket. So yeah, that one's looking, it's like almost like ice creamy colours. I can't remember the name of this one. It gives shade 752 but obviously they do have names as well. And as always you can find all of the pattern links, yarn links, everything like that in the description box. So that's that one. I then have this beautiful project which has laid untouched for a couple of months now because I kept forgetting to order more yarn but my yarn delivery arrived yesterday and this is going to be one of my, I haven't even finished it yet and I can tell already it's going to be one of my favourite blankets. So this, there we go. So this is obviously a 12 point star blanket. And this is being done in, let me just get a ball out for you. This is being done in the King Cole Beaches DK. See the beautiful colours in that. And this is the shade called Beaches and Cream. And I've done a, a yarn review on the Beaches DK on my channel before, but it it's really really soft really silky it has a very subtle sheen to it as well it's not it, it is really subtle the sheen it's not a bright bright glisten or anything it's just a really subtle sheen and it's available in lots of beautiful colors so again this is the beautiful pastels which is called beaches and cream and this is how that particular shade is working up so this blanket here is um, one and a bit balls because um, my mum gave me a part ball that she had finished and didn't want to want it to go to waste so she passed that on to me and I over added that to my blanket but I have got two more balls so this one's going to be quite a big blanket um, I really wanted a really big good size star blanket so I've got two more whole balls to add and then I've also got one of the Paradise Beaches so it's a King Cole again and this is the Paradise Beach and these are their solid colours which are I mean obviously they can be used on their own but they're also designed to pair up beautifully with their variegated yarns as well so I'm going to be using this beautiful pink which is called Pink Gym, and I'm going to be using that for the border for my star blanket. 
So I do have the tutorial on my channel already for a 12 point star so I will link that down below and I will obviously also leave you a link for the yarn. But while we're on the subject of the beaches, I did actually order more beaches because I wanted to do a blue blanket as well. I'm not 100% decided what I'm going to be doing with this one yet but I think I might try out to see what it looks like maybe as a granny stripe or something like that. I've not done a granny stripe in quite a while so this one is called Palm Beach and I'll just bring that up to the camera. So this one is really nice shades of blue and grey. So again nice muted shades really pretty and then I've also gone for a coordinating solid which is called Silver Martini. I didn't realise these must all have cocktail names. <laughs> so I've gone for the Silver Martini to pair with my variegated. So I've got three balls of the variegated yarn so that will be form the main body of my blanket and then I've got one ball of the Silver Martini for my border. So that's all of the beaches. And then the last bit is a bit of a fun one because I don't know whether you've seen but Hook by Robin has been doing lots of yarn bombing over the last couple of weeks. Whenever we were in our chat we would, I kept saying that I was going to make some as well because I felt really inspired by it. And so yesterday I finally took the plunge and I worked till about 1 o'clock this morning because once I'd started I couldn't, I couldn't stop. So I've been out and I've measured the lamp posts in my street. I've also measured the, we have like bollards at the end of the road, you know, it's a dead end to stop cars going through. So I've made some little covers for the posts, um, not full length covers, I didn't want to do full length ones, although I could have done, but I didn't want to because I thought the dogs would probably wee on them as they went past. <laughs> so I've made little covers for the posts in some rainbow yarn. So it's solid on the top. Just a solid circle on the top and then we've got a mess mesh stitch which will run all the way down I'm using my arm as a post here <laughs> so yeah so they should look quite sweet on the top of the post so I've made quite a few of those got a few of those there and then on the lamp posts um, I've completely copied two of Robin's patterns which she said is fine by the way <laughs> and I have made a crazy eyed frog so you'll see what I mean about the crazy eyes in just a second so I'm going to try and hold it the way it would be if it was actually on the lamp post there we go so there's let's just sort his eyes out they were even more crazy than they should have been there we go so there's the crazy frog so he's quite fun so he's going to sit on one of the lamp posts near our house that's Crazy Frog. Then we have got this one's smaller because he's going on a really skinny lamppost. And he is a cute one. Well, I think he's cute. And he's just, oh, his ears have fallen in. <laughs> there we go. He's just a cute little polar bear. Like I say, he's going on a really skinny lamppost, so that's why he's only quite small, but. I'm hoping he should look quite sweet like that. <laughs> and then we've got my personal favourite, although I haven't finished yet, I've still got loads more that I want to do. But I love this one just because it's so funny. Here's my happy little jellyfish. So I've used blue and then I've used rainbow for his, are they called tentacles when they're on a jellyfish? I don't know, whatever they are, they're rainbow. And he's happy, obviously because he's having a super time on the lamppost. So he's going to be going up as well. And then finally for what I've finished, this is the one that I was on working until one o'clock because once it started I didn't put it down. He's not quite the right yellow because I didn't have the right yellow. So he is just whatever shade of yellow I had. So he's a little bit more golden than he probably should be. Um, and my little boy was not very impressed when I said that he was going to be going outside and he might get wet in the rain. Um, but it's tough, isn't it? So I'm hoping you can guess what it is. Robin guessed first time what he was. So 
that was good. It makes you feel better when someone knows what something is supposed to be. So there we go. I can't really hold them very well. So they should sit nicely obviously on a lamppost. So here's my little Pikachu inspired one. So he's got a cute little pink mouth and then his lovely red cheeks and his happy eyes and he's got a lovely little smile and then obviously his little ears at the top. So that's my little Pikachu. So I think he's really really cute. And that is it for now. I do intend to hopefully do, I want to do a Harry Potter one. Um, I would like to do a cat one like Robin has done. And yeah, I'm just going to see where it where it takes me really. Um, it will also be interesting to see whether they actually hold up outside, whether they last, because you just never know. People might walk past and, you know, vandalise them, I suppose. That's a bit of a dramatic word, isn't it? But you know, people might cut them down, they might not want them outside the house because the lampposts in the street obviously are outside people's houses. Um, or the post covers, people could literally just whip them off. So I don't know how they'll hold up in, in the local area, but hopefully people will like them and so they will leave them be for now. Obviously they're only going to be there as a temporary thing just to hopefully brighten people's day when they're on their walk. So yeah, that is all the projects. Like I say, there's quite a lot of them at the minute and yeah, I will see you again very soon for normal tutorials and things and stay safe, stay well and I will see you soon. Bye for now.